how to build your own KEF UniQ drivers in inverted commas of course this is a two-way speaker system it's not a full range speaker it's a base med driver and a tweeter so it's a two-way system similar to the KEF UniQ drivers and it works with a standard two inch tweeter we'll turn it around there's the standard two inch tweeter at the back and it's zip tied on I'll tell you how in a minute and that's what the tweeter looks like when it's behind the speaker it's just got the stick on it you see, and you, put, you take all the cone off and then strip it all down and put that set up on it with the props because that makes it more rigid and it makes it vibrate a lot more and get more intensity than just having the stick on there. And make sure that those sticks, that pro little prop ones don't protrude from the thing. Even that's protruding a very tiny amount, but as long as it's in the center of the hole, it won't matter. Really it shouldn't protrude at all and I'll probably trim it off before I put it in. And the stick goes right through the hole in the speaker and comes out the other end. That stick. And there's the hole. That's what the thing is. You can see right through the speaker. That's a vent hole. Not many speakers have this, but these particular ones do. And it's from a base driver, it's a base med range speaker, they call it a, a med base driver because it's not really a woofer because it goes right up to 7 kilohertz. That's only an octave below human hearing, so they're virtually a full range speaker. And that's with the big cone on it and this big cone continues right through and you can see a slight circle there and that's where the dust cap area is because there's another cone inside there holding it on you can't see it's too dark see it in this one and what I've got left I cut through this cone like that I've cut it in the middle and revealing the other cone inside and surely it might go up another kilohertz or something now and that centre section there is much thinner cone material so that's also a strike of luck but I thought it, maybe I should recone one and I tried reconing one of these and there it is reconed and it's a much thinner material and I thought it'd get more treble out of it again I was really stoked thinking it's going to really sting but instead of going up to 7 kilohertz, it goes up to about 2. And it must be because of the material I use. The reconing was reasonably successful in the sense it didn't clatter. But, and it worked alright, but it just didn't have any treble content. And this is what the shape was. And it's a thin material and it's just a normal poster cardboard. But it didn't work in the sense it has, hasn't got the treble. So... We'll stick to the original cone with these, they're great. They go up nice and high and the tweeter extends it of course because it sounds better than a full range speaker because it goes up right up there. Now I'll just show you the whizzers. There's the main cone. It's not focusing. Yes it is, it's focused. The main cone is made of coffee can seal and so is that whizzer that's sticking straight up is also made of coffee, coffee can seal but the other little whizzer which is very very close to the cone to sound like it's coming from the same place is made of thin alfoil now I'll show you that's the coffee can foil Oop, focus, focus it's decided not to, yeah it's focusing and we have the thin alfoil that we made the other little whizzer out of and that little cone is stuck on the stick with, with um, super glue 
that's the only stuff you can use. It takes a few minutes to, to stick, that's only trouble. And I have a little setup I'll show you in a minute. And an important thing is you apply the glue onto a little stick like this first and then apply it to the bottom of your cone. And the way you can do it, just imagine that the stick is in the centre, like that. It's not in the centre, but... And we have a setup here. That's uh, just a, something to hold it on the right height. You can just see Tinkerbell. And there's blue tack and holding a bit of cane and another really little piece of blue tack holding the cone onto that. And imagine that the stick is in the centre of the hole. You have to manipulate the stick because the beauty about this cane, because I make them out of just normal basket weaving cane and you can manipulate it and you can bend it so you can get it right in the middle and it'll stay there, it's really good for, for staying there. Now, if, especially if you make it a bit moist and you use this device to get it in the right place like that but before you do that you very carefully apply blue tack with your drop of blue tack on the tip of your stick and you apply it to the bottom and you have to do it really carefully and just one little drop on the very bottom of the cone and then you go down here and then you can't see what you're doing you won't be able to but make sure the stick is in the middle and make sure your centre of your cone is actually in the centre as much as you can and just line it up with the hole so it's exactly in the centre and then just use your hand to push it down to get it in the right place and it'll touch the stick and nine times out of ten it'll hit the same patch where the glue is because the glue spreads a little bit and just leave it there for 10 or 20 minutes and then when it's stuck you have to get this little piece of blue tack off and that's really hard you have to hold the, the cone with your hands like that and pull at it because it's stuck on quite well and you don't want it to come off and once you get the blue tack off you just manipulate the cone with your hand to get it perfectly straight because the super glue takes a while before it sets really really hard you just have to do it within 10 or 15 minutes that's all and it's the worst job it's the most tricky job in the whole job it really is it's the worst job any other job's a lot better now going back to what I said before how to hold this on first you get it in the center so there's no zip ties on it it's just in there on there by itself you see I'll show you excuse me for a second you just put it in like that line it all up so those positive and negatives and line with that one like like that you see so it's easy to connect then you just put it in like that just put it in and then when you get around here you shine the sunlight into it or a really bright light a torch or something and you don't worry about the the top part just where the bottom's starting on the hole and get it right in the center I think I broke it get it right in the center and then if it's not in the center when it pokes out you have to take it off and bend it and just bend it and keep readjusting it and do the same thing shine the bright light in and make sure it's in the center at the base and just keep taking it out and manipulating it and manipulating it and we have no focus we have no focus ladies and gentlemen come on focus yeah it's focusing and it's very hard too, but it's not as hard as the other job, the blue tack, well not the blue tack, the, not as hard as the super blue job, job because that's sort of, you only got a certain time to do it and stuff, you know. This you can spend all day doing it, you know. Now once you get it in the right place, I'll show you again.
this that say it's in the right place. You sticky tape it all around like that, you know. You put sticky tape on it. And then once the sticky tape's on, you got nice and secure. You then zip tie it the way you can, any way you can. And it's got to hold in four places at least, I suppose. But you make sure when you tighten the zip ties, you tighten them up evenly because because the, the sticky tape can give away really easily. So you really make sure and really what you have to do, you have to turn it around and adjust it and shine a bright light down in it. The same way as you use this one with the zip ties. When you tighten the zip ties up, the move and you can shove it around you know, just by tightening the zip ties up and get it right in the middle and the base sort of thing, you know, it's the main thing. Really hard. But if you're a tinkerer, it's not hard at all. You know? Look at that. Beautiful. Own homemade unicues. Kef unicues. Not, not much else. That's about it, yeah, if I've got it all written down and everything, anyway. Enjoy your Kef unicues in inverted commas. <laughs>